Hello, my name is Cristina Frade and I'm going to present the progress of my thesis project entitled School Effectiveness and PISA Tests, Factors of School Success. First of all, we can see below an index with the contents that we will develop next. This thesis project was proposed after observing of the results obtained in the standardized tests of the program for international student assessment organized by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. We want to explain the factors associated with school success in order to draw up a catalogue of good practices which will serve as a guide to ensure that those schools with lower results in the different competencies measured by PISA can modify their actions and, in this way, improve their results and increase their school effectiveness. PISA is a large-scale standardized test for assessing academic performance. This test focuses on three key competencies, mathematics, science and reading comprehension. It also includes contextual questions. In its last edition, they include two more competencies, global and financial competence. The objective is to measure the extent to which 15-year-old students acquire the knowledge expected for their educational stage. In this picture, we can see the 79 participant countries and the number of Spanish students and schools who took part in the 2018 edition. We identify school performance with the results obtained by the students. This performance doesn't depend only on the intrinsic characteristics of the students, but is influenced by other factors that can help achieve or not school success. PISA has found that factors of sociodemographic context with more weight on school performance are gender, immigration, percentage of repetition and school ownership. What we want is to know how much these factors influence on school performance. We identify school effectiveness as the good practices carried out in a school to achieve a higher than expected performance according to their contextual characteristics. Research on school effectiveness began in the 1970s. In Spain, it was in the early 1990s that the study on school effectiveness was most heavily influenced. According to recent research, we decided to apply a multilevel analysis to discover the influence of the different factors on school effectiveness. The relationship between performance and school effectiveness is given, as Cano suggests, by the assessment of school performance. This work is the continuation of different research projects carried out by the members of the research groups that we can see on the presentation. We want to know the good educational practices carried out in schools with higher than expected performances. The contextual characteristics that we took as a basis for our study are the eight that we see here. So, our goal is to generate a common framework of best practices in education related to the effectiveness of schools at an international level. How? By detecting high and low effectiveness schools in Castilla y León and Andalusia, by generating a model of analysis of school effectiveness in Spain, and by designing and implementing training and innovation models to promote school effectiveness. In order to achieve the above objectives, research is proposed based on a mixed approach where quantitative and qualitative approaches are integrated, in line with current trends in educational research. We include here a systematic literature review, an exposed factor study applying multi-level models and a qualitative methodology of content analysis. As we can see, the thesis is organized in four phases. We present here some preliminary results. Figure 1 shows us the percentage of Spanish students enrolled in schools according to their ownership. Figure 2 shows us the percentage of centers according to their ownership. In other words, in Spain, 69% of students are enrolled in a public school and public schools represent 62% of all Spanish schools. We must emphasize that for the moment, these results are only preliminary in order to know the situation we are facing. In this course, we intend to finish the first two phases, which are the ones we are currently working on. Thank you very much.